One of the stars of this year's Australian Wooden Boat Festival in Hobart was the recently relaunched Tuira, built by C&W Bailey in New Zealand in 1897 and restored by Jeremy Close and his team at Signet Wooden Boats over the last few years. I dropped in on Jeremy a few days after the festival and asked him to tell me about Signet Wooden Boats. Uh, it's an old sawmill and an apple packing shed that we're so slowly renovating and, and getting going and, and, and turning into a, a purpose-built boat building shed with facilities here. Um, I employ sort of half contractors, half employees. Um, we can scale up and down. Often we do work on the slipways in sort of spring and then fill up the shed full of projects over winter. It's a bit empty now because we've just had the boat festival launching Adela and Tawira. I like prefer to do restorations. We've done a couple of new builds, but the challenge of um, uh, usually sort of big structural work on, on older boats. So we've, we've had three that are, well, one that's 126 years old, uh, Tawira, and then we had a 94 year old Batten Seam Adela. Um, yeah, and we've got little Rebecca there, a cod boat from the Tamar River. She was 100 year old last year. So sort of I enjoy getting the garbage planks off, expecting the backbones, um, repairing and bringing them back to life, really. Yeah, and i got to say, they did a magnificent job on Tawira, mate. That's a real world-class restoration, yeah. Yeah, that was a real challenge. The the triple skin and uh, coming up with a method to repair it is, yeah. uh, uh, was, was great, really, really interesting work. Um, it was pretty bit stop starty. We were, we were full time on it for a year with a team of three, three to four and had really good momentum going and then COVID kind of slowed us down with the oh, budget. Yeah. Uh, and then we were back on it this, this, well, last year now for sort of six months at the end there with a good, with a good push. So generally I, I, I prefer to take on projects that are sort of 18 months, um, start to finish. I think you can keep good motivation and, and you, you keep remembering that the, the boat is going to be in the water one day and he's going to be sailing around you can get tied up in the shed i think for for a long time and you forget about what what the purpose of the boat is about i was shown over to weera on her mooring by colin grizules a historian who had a lot to do with matching to weera with the current owner it's a world-class restoration with some fantastic details Colin convinced the owner to leave the inside planking finished clear to show the structure. The boat builders wanted it painted and I've got to agree with them, but it's a minor point. They were lucky enough to have a stock of New Zealand cowrie to trim the interior in the Bailey style. Colin also showed me his own boat, Adela, a lovely little batten seam launch which had also recently been relaunched after restoration by Colin and the boys from the shed. Gordon McGill is restoring yep. Shirley in the shed.
Jeremy is lucky enough to have plenty of room to lease out for projects like this, as well as room to store boats like this future project, a lovely little cray boat. The mast and rigging of Tawira will be happening over the next few months, and I look forward to seeing her sailing with a big gaff rig, she'll be a sight. Thanks for watching. There'll be another episode of Around the Boatyards featuring Tasmanian boat builders soon.